Hey guys, what's going on? Ben here. Um, I just wanted to show you a little gameplay footage of this game I worked on a while ago. Um, I built this when I was 18, and uh, it's on the XNA framework, which means it can also be played on the Xbox. Um, so uh, I'm going to jump right into this game. I think it's really fun, um, and uh, I hope you like it. I'm setting up a deathmatch here. Um, I'm going to make it um, six players. I'm going to be playing just against bots. Um, but I'm going to put them on the insane difficulty, and sometimes I can top out of those matches, sometimes not. Um, so you can see we all start at zero. Um, so just real quick, this game, I'm going to pause it while I talk about it for just a sec. This game is a top-down shooter, um, but it is full 3D, and uh, I wrote the entire graphics and um, lighting system pretty much by myself. I used some of the basic XNA model drawing stuff. But uh, I wrote all of it myself, I wrote all the logic myself, and then I wrote the AI that I'm also playing against myself. Um, and the basic premise of the game is that uh, you can move around top-down style. If you get hit by a bullet, you get stunned for a while. But if you're stunned, you can still dash. And the dash also can take you through walls. Um, you also have a special ability which uses your energy meter. Um, and the energy is in the bottom left of the screen as well as the player's health. Um, so I'm going to jump right into the game, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll talk a little bit about the various um, items that will come up during the game. As the game progresses, players are given upgrades, which allow them to upgrade their weapon or their special ability. So uh, here I go. Um, so for this gun, I have a primary fire and a secondary fire, and the primary fire is just these bullets, and then the secondary fire is a grenade. The grenade can arc over objects and um, can be used to set traps. Like I said earlier, there's a boss I'm playing against, but they're the hardest difficulty. So uh, they're, they're going to be pretty tough. And there I'm dead. You can see the scoreboard there. So the special ability that everyone has is currently the bubble, which is why you'll see those blue bubbles occasionally getting cast, and they protect whoever's inside them. You can't take damage, but the bubbles can get, can get taken down by an explosive weapon. One of the big strategies in this game is you can dash at somebody through a wall and surprise them like that, and then there's an opponent on the other end. But and then like you could dash, surprise them, and cast your bubble. I fucked that up. I'm dead. <laughs> also, if you just get a little bit of the damage on an opponent, you only get an assist. Um, and every time you get a kill or an assist, you get refunded one-fourth of your energy bar. And um, the shield takes half of your energy bar. So for every two kills you get, you get another shield. And the shield basically, if you use it right, can net you a free kill. Oh, I'm, I thought I got him. The trick when someone's dashing at you is to try and put a grenade in their path. So they jump on top of the grenade and die. Ah, uh, you dashed the wall and escaped me. I <laughs> got killed by that guy. See, kind of like that, except that guy cast a shield, so he was protected from my grenade. Got him. In this game, if you take any kind of damage, you get stunned for a second and pushed backward. Okay, so now I got it for my first upgrade. I'm going to grab the plasma gun. So the plasma gun is a little bit closer, more of a close range weapon. It doesn't see the bullets don't travel as fast. And it also has a grenade secondary fire. But the difference between that grenade and the other gun's grenade is the, the this gun's grenade sticks to you. This guy. See, I see him cast his shield. I'm trying to throw grenades near it so it blows up. But I'm dead. The other thing, that, the other upgrade I could have taken would be vampire darts, which would sh switch my shield out for a darts ability. Um, which would the darts? Um, you can send at people and they steal life from the opponents. I'm trying to get this guy. No, nope, don't have any on. I think I'm dead. Yeah. So, just just so you guys know, these um, these AIs, the hardest difficulty AIs, are not using any cheats in the game. They're just using like super fast reflexes and uh, perfect aim. But uh, there's a lot of aim assist in this game. This game isn't really that much about aiming. It's mostly about making decisions about when you use your various abilities and like dashes and stuff to try and outsmart opponents. So he jumped on me and I cast my shield. And then I use it to kill everybody. When you're inside your shield, your bullets actually go faster. Alright, so now I'm going to grab the darts. 
So now my special ability is I'm no longer gonna be using the shield. I'm gonna be using these darts that come out in like a little shotgun pattern. Except that guy killed me. When the darts hit the shield, they both are destroyed. I also put in a, uh, it's like a very Quake style uh, announcing voice that uh, announced the various states of the game. Adam. Sometimes it's worth just like throwing your darts out into the field and just seeing what, what they hit. Because sometimes you can get an assist, which would have been pretty fun. Darts take one fourth of your energy bar. So, oh yeah, when you respawn, you get half an energy bar. So you get two shots of darts um, when you respawn, and then you get one more shot of darts for every kill you get. So see, I just got another one. Got him with a grenade. Killed that guy. I think I walked on my own grenade there. Ah, oh, I'm dead. All right, so now I'm gonna get cloak. And the way cloak works is um, I turn invisible. And the AIs are programmed to respond to me being invisible, so they don't know I'm there until I start shooting or I dash. So see, with this close range gun, you can get real close to somebody. And, uh, and jump them. And that's the goal. Gotcha. The orange shots are the level oh, shit. That's another upgrade path that you could have gone. Where I could have gone. Also, when you're cloaked, you get faster speed to make up for the fact that you can't dash. So I'm only two points behind the leader. I'm not doing too bad here. See, that guy was cloaked too. He's talking to me. Glad he got me. Stick this guy. He's got me. Damn, looks like the game's about to be over. Ah! I gotta play it again. <laughs> so I also did all of the sound design, all of the uh, graphics, all the all the textures, everything for this game, um, and uh, it was an insanely fun project. All right, I'm going to pick a different map. Let's go with Train Station again. I'm going to reduce it to four AIs, um, and I'll take I'll take some different upgrades so you guys can see some of the different things that could, that you could pick in this game. I want to take the rocket launcher this time. Oh yeah, so if two people cast their shields to get on top of each other, just like that, um, then, uh, the, uh, then the shields cancel out. I want to take a sec to appreciate the, like, really gorgeous shadows in this game. Remember, I, I was figuring out at 18 how to write these uh, really cool like shadow and light rendering systems. I didn't use Unity or anything like that. Like this was me um, figuring out cute maps and all that stuff. So I'm I'm extra proud of how this all turned out because I I wrote my own you know lighting shaders and all that stuff. And uh, all these lights um, support uh, cube map shadows, which means. Um, real-time cube map shadows. So uh, all the characters you'll notice, my character casts a shadow and that he can cast multiple shadows at the same time. All the lights in the game cast shadows. Um, and uh, all the bullets and stuff, they all get their own lights as well. Although, um, or at least most of them do. And although, um, like the, the grenade bullet, the grenade lights and stuff, they don't actually cast shadows and they work a little bit differently. They just illuminate everything. Also, uh, um, and then as an optimization, this game also supports uh, split screen, so um, the real-time aspect of the shadows is turned off uh, for split screen players, so it's not re-rendering all these shadows constantly as all the players walk around in them. I'm going to use my grenade to try and bust his shield. I'm going to grenade trap him when he comes in. Ah, oh, I died. Alright, so I'm going to take the plasma gun, but I'm going to take the next couple of guns this time. I'll show you guys a different gun. That was probably a bad cast on my shield. I'm done. So also, if in case you're wondering, you can't dash outside the edge of the map. So if you try, you just bounce off the edge. Like that. Um, and that was... I wrote a pretty simple level editor for this. That... Um, you just, that you can tell at which blocks um, the player can bounce off of. And uh, as a fun experiment, 
it is possible to get outside the map, although I, it's pretty hard. You have to get like shoved outside the map by someone else's shield. So I'm going to take the laser rifle this time. And the, uh, the laser rifle is a longer range weapon. You see it's a tighter spread and the bullets go farther. And the secondary fire goes through walls and um, is an ex a proximity explosion. Bullets do a fair bit of damage too, although they don't fire that fast. So if someone gets close to you, you're in trouble. Oh, that guy's got a cloak. You see, ah, I'm done. Ah, oh, that's a good shield. At least I think it was. Got him. So most secondary fires have a little bit of a wind-up time like this. Remember, the more kills you get, the more casts of your special ability you get. So for every two kills, I get another cast on my shield. And there's no limited ammo in this game. It's like, uh, actually, I can't, maybe Overwatch, but Overwatch has reload. This game just doesn't have any reloading. It, this game does have little teeny clips. You can't constantly be firing. You notice all the guns shoot in bursts and then take a sec to, like, cool off. All right, so now I'm gonna grab the rocket launcher. And this is if you put all your upgrade points into weapons. I'm not gonna get any more upgrade points. So this shoots these rockets. Um, and then the secondary fire, it shoots kind of a little shotgun of like mini rockets. This guy's dead, for sure. I'm almost dead too, though. Look at my health. Look at the bottom left for health. So little health. So if you take, if you're constantly upgrading your special ability versus constantly upgrading your weapon, you get a turret, and you'll see somebody's, one of the enemies is running around with a turret right now. I think he has the yellow guy, so he's got a turret. And uh, the turret's really nasty. The turret can do a shit ton of damage and pin you against a wall, and you just die pretty much instantly. Um, but the turret can be ex destroyed by an explosion, so if you catch it first, you're good. Alright, I'm gonna try and catch my shield. No! I shouldn't go right in the middle there. I keep getting caught up. Oh, they all died. And see, the shotgun actually has, an homing as has a homing aspect to it. The rocket launcher shotgun. So yeah, the AI is pretty sophisticated. It, um, it has the ability to... Uh, shit, I lost. The AI has the ability to um, dodge bullets, um, make intelligent choices about how far it wants to be away from an enemy, depending on, uh, on who's carrying what gun. It, um, it will... Uh, dodge grenades and um, seek power-ups and do various things like that. Um, and uh, the insane mode for the AI is perfect human reactions and aim. And then the uh, the other modes are um, it adds like a bit of confusion to the AI. So whenever the whenever someone dashes near them, um, the AI will get confused. So um, like hard, the AI will freeze for a second when someone dashes near them. So it, en it ended up being a really satisfying way to um, make uh, make the AI difficulty. And then for easy, the AI just kind of wander around constantly in a confused state, because they're, uh... anyway, it's pretty funny. Um, so anyway, that's uh, that's this game that I worked on. Um, and I wanted to show it off to um, show off my uh, my coding skills and my graphic design ability. Um, this, uh, I, I really like this game, it's really fun. Playing it feels very, very, very smooth. I think that's the the thing that I'm most uh, most proud of with this game, is that uh, it's actually just really fun to play. It's really satisfying. Um, it uh, all the all the lights, all the graphics, all the rendering stuff was really secondary to making this game really, really, really fun and really interesting and really unique. Um, I love top down shooters. You can get some really cool like player combat out of that, and uh, I wanted to uh, make a multiplayer one. So um, I'm not going to demo it now, but uh, this game also does support up to four four player split screen, like I was saying earlier. Um, so I may just upload a video with uh, me and some of my friends playing. Anyway, thanks guys. Peace.